Alright, so I'm going to be showcasing eight different combos for Brandon Synchro. Starting off with the first combo, we have Guiding Quem plus Sarnir. You're going to normal summon the Quem and send Albion from the deck, and then you're going to special Sarnir by banishing the Albion in Graveyard. You're then going to turn these two into Bestial Dissipator, activating the Sarnir, being able to send you Lubelion. Dissipator is then going to revive the Albion, and then Lubelion is going to distribute over the Dissipator, and you're going to activate Lubelion effect to set Beast or place Beast directly from the deck. You're going to link those two off in a seal and then activate Albion, putting itself to the bottom, then sending a regained. During the end phase, Beast will then be able to set the regained. So you have Seal, which can summon Albas from deck, which is going to be a Mirror Jade. So it seals to basically two opponent's monsters. Regain, which can summon Dissipator. Dissipator will then be another interruption. And then Beast can pop the Dissipator as well. So on to the next combo. It's going to be Cartacea, Quem, plus a discard. Starting off with Normal Summon Guiding and Quem, you're going to activate the effect sending Albion, and since Albion counts as Fallen of Albus while in the field or in the graveyard, Cartacea will then be able to activate the Special Summon itself. You're then going to be able to activate the Cartacea, Fusion Summoning off into a Grangoil. Grangoil is then going to activate, sending Sarnir, then Sarnir is going to activate to sending a Branded Fusion. Albion is going to place stuff to the bottom of the deck, sending Retribution, then Retribution to add Branded Fusion back to your hand. And then going to activate Brand Fusion, dumping Albas plus Lubelion, summoning an Albion. Albion effect, banishing two, summon Lubelion. Now that's where the discard comes in. You discard the card off of Lubelion, put itself in Albas back to make a Mirror Jade. And then going to attribute the Albion, summon Lubelion. Lubelion is going to activate, placing a Beast. And then during the end phase, Cartesia is able to add itself back, and then Albion can place a Brand in red. So you have a Mirror Jade, which hasn't used its effect, Branded Beast as a pop, Grangoil, which can summon out the Dust via Synchro from the Extract, and as well as a Branded and Red for Guardian Chimera. So next is going to be Cartacea plus Fallen of Albaz. Now typically you want this to build on top of a combo instead of being the combo itself, but you're going to normal Albaz make Cartacea, fuse into Albion, and then Albion's going to banish both, summon Grangoil. Grangoil is then going to send Sarnir from the deck. Sarnir is then going to dump Lubelion. You're going to special Lubelion over the Albion. Lubelion is going to place Beast. And then during the end phase, Albion is then going to place a Retribution. So this isn't too great, although you still do have Branded Beast, which is a pop. As well as Retribution, which will be followed up on later turns. As well as a Counter Trap, which can negate anything that would special summon the monster. So next up we have this going to be another two guard combo. It's gonna be any level four dragon plus Lubelion. It's gonna be a pretty simple combo. You're just gonna activate Lubelion, searching out a Sarnia. This could also be Magma, depending on what you're going for. Normal summon the Albas, or really any level four dragon. Make striker, banish it, summon the Sarnia that we searched. Lubelion is then going to place Beast, and Sarnia is going to send a regained. And then we have Seal, and then Beast is then going to place regained. So this is a lot stronger than it looks because Seal gets the bounce of the card as well as something Albas from deck, and that's in, so Seal gets rid of three cards on its own. And then Regain can summon back this Seal, and then Beast will be able to pop whatever you summon back and an opponent's card. So this can be the first three card combo. It's gonna be Guiding Quem, Lubelion, and Albaz, as well as any discard. Quem's gonna activate sending Mercurier. You're then going to activate Lubelion to search out Sarnir. Sarnir is going to activate banishing the Mercurier to summon itself out, and then Mercurier is then going to activate to search out a Cartesia. You're then going to synchro off into a Dispater, then activating the Sarnir. Sarnir is going to send the Bestial Alibur, that way you have a monster that mentions Small of Abbas in the graveyard. Cartesia is going to summon itself, you're then going to activate Dispater and then chain Cartesia. Now what this does lets you play around Nibiru better, as this is only your fourth summon as it was only a uh, Quem, Sarnir, Dissipator, and Cartesia. That way you then guarantee you could have an Albion for follow-up, fusing off the Albas and Cartesia into an Albion, and Dissipator will then be able to send back the Mercurier. So now they do activate the Nibiru, you have Mercurier to negate it. Albion then going to activate, banishing Albas plus Sarnir, making Lubelion. Lubelion then going to dump whatever discard you have, fusing off into a Mirror Jade. Then you're going to tribute the Albion for Lubelion. Lubelion is then going to place a beast. Then you're going to go to end phase. Albion is going to be able to place out a brand red, and Cartesia is going to add itself back. 
Now, you have a dissipator, which if your opponent banishes, it's negate, but right now it's just a destroy. Mirror Jade, which has not used its effect. Mercurier, which is a negate well, on the field or in the hand. Beast, which pops. Cartesia for follow up, and Brand and Red to make Guardian Chimera. So, on to the next combo. It's going to be a two card combo. It's going to be Guiding Quem plus Brand Infusion plus any discard. So, going to start off by Normal Summon Guiding Quem. Quem is then going to send Mercurier. You're then going to activate the Brand Infusion. Just hard making the Albion. Albion is going to activate its effect, banishing Mercurier and Albaz, summoning Lubalion. We're going to go Lubalion 1 and then Mercurier 2. Mercurier is then going to activate Albion and Lubalion is going to fuse into a Mirror Jade. You're then going to tribute the Albion for the Lubalion. Lubalion is going to place Beast from the deck. And then you're going to activate Albion, sending Albaz, drawing any random card. We're just going to use Dark Ruler for the example here. Then during the end phase, you're going to be able to activate Albion. Albion sets uh, places the Brand in red. And now you have Guardian Chimera plus a Guardian Quem, which can summon back the Albaz, which is then another interruption to fuse into opponent's monster. And then Beast for the additional pop and Chimera. Now for the next combo, we are going to have Cartesia, Mercurier, plus Lubalion. We're going to normal some Cartesia, fuse it off into a Grand Goyle. Going to activate the Grand Goyle, sending Albion. Then you're going to activate the Lubalion hand to search out Sarnir. Sarnir is then going to activate, banishing the Mercurier to summon itself out, and the Mercurier is going to activate, searching out another Albion. You're then going to summon Lubalion by tributing the Sarnir. Sarnir is going to activate, sending Branded Retribution, and then the Albion in hand is going to activate, sending a Branded in White, and drawing whatever random card we're going to use Star Cooler for the example. Banishing Retribution can add yourself back, Brand and White, and then Lubelion gets to place a regain directly from the deck. Brand and White then gets to fuse off into Titanic Lad, and then Regain gets the additional draw. And then you can make Seal using Lubelion and Titanic Lad. During the end phase, Cartesia adds itself back to the hand, and then Titanic Lad activates summoning a Quem, and then Quem can send from Albaz. This means they have to have two ways to force out battle phase, as if they go battle phase once, Seal can bounce the monster, and then Quem is still protected. So you have two monsters to be able to force out both Seal and Quem, and at that point Seal can summon Albaz, fuse off with one of them, and then you still have Brandon regained to be able to summon out the Sarnir. And then as well as a Grand Goyle in the graveyard to summon out the Despia Synchro. So, for the last combo, we're going to have Brain Infusion plus Sarnir. Brand Fuse is going to activate, saying Albaz plus Mercury. We're actually going to hard make Rin Brom since we do have the Sarnir in our hand. We're then going to activate Sarnir, banishing Mercury or summon itself out. Then Mercury is going to activate. We're going to search out a Cortasia. Since Albaz is still in our graveyard, we're going to summon it. And then we're going to activate its effect to fuse away the Sarnir and make a Grand Goyle. We're going to activate Sarnir as one, Grand Goyle as two. We're going to send an Albion, and then Sarnir is going to send Retribution. Albion is going to activate the effect, and then you're going to send a brand in white. Retribution is going to banish itself, add back the white. Then activating the white, we're going to banish Albion, send Grangle, make Mirror Jade. We're going to activate Mirror Jade, and then negate it with the Rin Brum, but not return a card. Then during the end phase, Titanic Leg gets to summon out Quem from the deck. Quem can then send back an Albas, so we have an interruption off of that. So we have a Rin Brum, which is negate, Mirror Jade which is a banish. Since this effect was negated, we could use it again on the opponent's turn. And then a Guiding Quam, which could summon back an Albaz. And then we also have Cartesia, which adds itself back during the end phase. So, that'll be all for the combo video. If I missed any, let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.